Hi, welcome to our new video. In this video, we will see how to record landed cost in ERP Next. So let's get started. First, let us try to understand the concept of landed cost voucher. Landed cost term was coined in the 15th century when the goods used to be shipped via sea and land at the port. Therefore, the cost at which goods were received on land was known as the landed cost. Landed cost voucher is a document that adds the additional expenses incurred to valuation of the items received. Let us take an example to understand this concept. Let us say company XYZ deals in electronic goods. Company XYZ imports a container of 10,000 smartphones from the international market. It not only has to pay for the value of the goods, which in this case is $2 million equal to $200 a piece, but also for freight charges of $30,000, 50% custom duty of $1 million and a 5% VAT of $100,000 which is available for input tax credit. In the absence of a landed cost voucher, the valuation of the smartphone will be considered as $200 and the other cost will be considered as indirect cost and therefore will not show the correct gross profit. If the selling price of a smartphone is $500, the gross profit in absence of landed cost will be shown as 500 minus 200 equals to $300, which is not the case. With the help of landed cost voucher, we can include the expenses incurred to procure the goods in valuation of the item. With the help of landed cost voucher, we can include the expense incurred to procure the goods in valuation of the item. With the help of landed cost voucher, we can include the freight cost of $30,000 divided by 10,000 pieces equal to $3 and custom duty of 1 million divided by 10,000 pieces equal to $100 in the valuation of the item which will now be $303. Now the gross profit at $500 selling price will be equal to 500 minus 303 equal to $197. Thus considering landed cost provides decision makers a better picture of profitability at the item or product level. Now let us see how to add landed costs in ERP next. Create service or non-stock items and map respective accounting ledgers in the item master. Make sure the accounting ledger has type set as expenses included in valuation. Otherwise you will not be able to add landed cost voucher against this accounting ledger. Next. Create a purchase invoice to record additional expenses. Enter a landed cost voucher against the respective purchase receipt for expenses that need to be included in valuation. Select the purchase receipt against which landed costs need to be added. Fetch items from the purchase receipt. Add the expenses to be included in valuation and amount. Then you can distribute the additional expenses on basis of quantity or amount. Make sure the expenses mentioned in landed cost voucher match the purchase invoice that you have booked in the system for these expenses. Once you have verified the details, submit the landed cost voucher. As soon as you submit the landed cost voucher, the valuation of the items will change in the purchase receipt, which can be viewed by checking the stock ledger. Also, the expenses will get transferred from the respective expenses included in valuation ledger, the one used on purchase invoice to the items valuation and therefore the net effect on this ledger will be zero. You can then use purchase invoice to keep track of the payment to the supplier. So this is how you transfer additional expenses to valuation of the item and make sure you calculate gross profit based on correct valuation. We hope you liked our video. Please contact us if you would like to know how ERP Next Accounting can help you improve visibility of your business. Thank you.